Hi there, it's Kim Stedman. Welcome to um, Lifter Upper. Welcome to my vault. And I'm excited that you are interested in this little brainstorming strategy method that um, I have for brainstorming social media posts. Um, it's very important in the world of authorpreneur, entrepreneur, um, when you finally hit that realization that people are not going to just magically um, flock to you and arrive at your virtual doorstep, you know, you have to go out there and reach them. You have to reach the message. And that's what social content is all about. First of all, what is the social content? Um, the social media content? Well, it's not just Facebook and it's not just Instagram, right? Social media is any platform in which you are at that platform talking and speaking to your audience. So that can be your website. That can be a blog post. That can be an email. Um, and then it can be a social media post on a social media stream, such as Facebook or Instagram or all the host of other things. So this class is really about brainstorming the social uh, media content portion of it. Now, what is exciting about this is that while you are brainstorming these topics, and learning this little brainstorming methodology to get these topics that you will end up writing social media posts for. Um, when you have these, they can become a foundation for a longer blog post form, right? There, there are ways to repurpose all this. So this whole content strategy, this brainstorming method, and and I, you know, share with you how to, you know, come up with these topics and brainstorm it out. And it's not something that fast that just happens in just one hour, um, unless you've maybe done this before. But it could take some thought process. Um, but once you give yourself and allow yourself this time to think about this and to do these subtopics and to get this off, um, my strategy is that you have at least 100 pieces of content ready to, to start writing. You have topics to start writing, okay? And in the class, um, I also give you some post strategy templates store I call them a little story starters it's just to help you kind of read through to kind of just to jog your memory jog your brain to say okay this is how I might need to frame this or whatever and it's um this is not a class meant to just be breezed through because yes you can breeze through it but I want you to apply it um I, I do want you to apply what you learn um, I really promise, I promise you that if you sit and apply yourself and you come up with these topics and then you start dedicating the 30 minutes a day to start writing these topics, you're going to start having your, your core content piece. Now, in the social media stratosphere, okay, social media stratosphere of like the social media streams, uh, Facebook and all that, there's, a, there's another strategy that's not covered in this class. But there's another strategy of you post this kind of post on this day and this kind of post on this day. And while I say it's not covered in the class, um, I will have a little posting template, a, a little calendar strategy. But I'm not going to deep dive into why you do this or why you do that, but just to give you a framework. So the core post is like something that you just post once a week that core long form post, maybe twice a week. And then you have fun with other little posts. The other ones that we see where people post a cute little image quote or something like that. And in this class, we'll talk about repurposing these posts so that you kind of keep some congruency going. Anyway, um, it's a fun class. It's fun because um, I... It's fun for me because I'm sharing with you a strategy, a method that I am personally using. And it has given me such, it's just kind of taken a weight off my shoulder. I have been struggling for so long with a couple of different social media templates that, that I'd bought from somebody else. And I kept having to reframe some of the things that they said. And it really just was becoming too much work. Too much work. And when it becomes too much work, it's not fun anymore. I'm like, okay, there has to be another way. And and I did. I found this way of brainstorming my own topics. Right? I'm smart. 
<laughs> brainstorming these own topics and then having these little subtopics and these little things. And it's like, these are my own little uh, writing prompts that I've created and now I'm going with it. And it's so much fun. So anyway, I hope to see you in this class and um, I look forward to seeing you on the other side. All right, bye.